Hi everybody. Welcome to the best of cat series from IMS. Welcome to the algebra module. The product of two numbers is given as 616. And they have said the ratio of the difference of their cubes to the cube of their difference is 157 is to 3. Then the sum of the numbers is what? Now, importantly, they didn't ask for the numbers. If they had asked for the numbers, it would have been a very easy question. Because then, you know, you could have used options easily. They have asked for the sum of the numbers. So, let's first do the regular approach and then we'll see whether we could think of something else. Very frankly, there's not too many approaches for this question. But let's start with let the two numbers be A and B. So, I know A multiplied by B is equal to 616. And they have said what? A cube minus B cube upon A minus B the whole cube is 157 upon 3. Right? Let's use simple algebra formulas. What is the formula for a cube minus b cube? It's a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square upon a minus b the whole square is 157 upon 3. Oh, sorry, a minus b the whole cube that is. So 1 a minus b cuts out. We are left with a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square. If I want to create that in the numerator, what will I do? have to do? I'll have to subtract. 3, uh, I'll have to subtract a 2ab, add a 2ab. So the numerator after subtracting 2ab, adding 2ab will become a minus b the whole square. Pay attention to this very carefully, plus 3ab upon a minus b the whole square is 157 upon 3. Right, so we've got till here. If I separate the denominators, a minus b the whole square, a minus b the whole square will cut. So we'll be left with 1. So I'll be left with 3ab upon a minus b the whole square is 157 upon 3 minus 1. The 1 comes on the right side becomes minus 1, becomes 154 upon 3, right? So if I bring the 3 down, I'll get what? And I know ab is 616, so 3 into 616 upon a minus b the whole square is 154 upon 3. Should know this calculation 154, 4 is 616. This comes so many times whenever you do any circle calculations. 22 by 22 pi, pi r square, uh, you know, the area is 154, area is 616. This calculation, calculation comes so many times. If I solve this out, I'll get a minus b the whole square is how much? That's 12, 3 is 36. So a minus b is 6, plus or minus 6, but let's assume a is greater and b is smaller a minus b is 6 and I want to find a plus b, right? Now, you after this, you can do it orally or you can use formulas. You could have used a plus b the whole square is a minus b the whole square plus 4ab. But very frankly, I don't think so. All that should have been needed. After this step, I just need two numbers whose product is 616 and their difference is 6. Take factors of 616, you will start getting it. 2, 3, 0, 8. 2, 154, 2, 77 and 7, 11s are. Right, so I need two numbers whose difference is 6 and their product is how much? Uh, 6, 1, 6. So product I'm already going to get it for you. 7, 4s are 28 and 11, 2s are 22. 22 and 28 are your two numbers which we are looking for. So the sum will be 50, which is my third option. Definitely a slightly lengthy question, but if you look at algebra questions, I don't think it was really difficult. You just needed to know this formula well. After that, it was more or less simple, straightforward solving. So when I was trying this question, what are the different approaches we tried for this? And I'm just going to clear this solution out and think of, think with you all a little bit different approach what we had done. So we had started with 616 factors, as I just showed you, it became 2308. 2154, 277, and 711s. And tried to see whether the options helped us. So I needed two numbers. But we realized that everything satisfies. All the options have something or the other satisfying. So if you make groups, obviously one group which we got the correct answer was 28 and 22, which is 50, which is there over here. Are we getting a 99? Yes, we are getting a 99. 11, 8, 88, and 7. So that was over here. Then there was 85. Was I getting an 85? Yes, I was getting an 85. 77 plus 8 was 85. 
and was getting 58 also. So one thing you could have done if you have since you have a calculator in CAT, once you got this, you could have tried and worked on this ratio, but I think which was slightly difficult anyways would have taken time, not really worth it. So I would have kind of done the earlier method only over here, whichever it is. If somebody can think of a better method, you can always put it in the comment box. We will be happy, happy to uh, understand a new approach to the same.